So, if you guys have been on Reddit recently or on Twitter, you might have stumbled across this crazy theory that Fortnite Creative is becoming its own game mode and Fortnite Creative will get the biggest remake of all time. Uh, that will be the big announcement of all time at the Games Show Awards. And you probably got overexcited. And I can understand that because Creative didn't really have something new, right? We had galleries, we had a lot of stuff. Um, and people want something new. But first of all, let me talk about what is actually going on. You might remember this tweet from, uh, I think it was Tim Sweeney, who tweeted out, uh, this is just the beginning, uh, something along those lines, I'll probably show that on screen. Um, this is just the beginning, ask me in a year or so, and then we see what Fortnite creative or what Fortnite is becoming in that year. And people are obviously going crazy already and, uh, you know, they're kind of like, uh, it was all planned out from this point on. And, and even I tweeted under this tweet that, uh, yo, I'm excited to see what's coming and stuff like that. Um, but should you really get excited for something that is not announced, that is not like real, there's no like proof of that this is going to happen? You should probably chill out a little bit because, you know, if you get overexcited with something, then if it's not going to happen, you're going to be disappointed and mad, which is probably something that is not super good. Um, so let me quickly talk you guys through the theories that people have, uh, which I think are kind of crazy. Um, I would love, I, I would, uh, like, let, let's make it clear. I would love to see all of these theories come true. Um, the, the biggest thing that people say is that Fortnite Creative is going to be its own mode and it will kind of finally be like a full published version where we get all the stuff that we needed and it would basically be like the Unreal Engine in Fortnite. So uh, that would mean like weapon customizer, terrain editors, um, other things and stuff like that. Um, as much as I want this to happen, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I really wish it, but I don't think you should get excited to have that. And you're also probably wondering why people are doing these assumptions and these crazy things to say and like why would they just assume that there's no like official announcement stuff like that. So Epic Games used to do AMAs which are like ask me anything and um, they did that for creative a lot back in the days. They don't do it now anymore for whatever reason um, but they used to do it a lot and um, and in these AMAs they were obviously asked the same questions over and over again which are like can we get a weapon customizer? Can we get terrain editors? Can we get that? Can we get this? And all of these questions got answered with, yes, we're working on it. And um, it might take longer, but yes, we're working on it. And that obviously made a lot of people hope that it's coming soon. And then people came across this nice theory, which is now going to kind of be reality, where there is a big announcement at the uh, Game Show Awards. Um, but I think people are diving a little bit too deep into that also it doesn't mean that it's for fortnite creative right so this could be just for fortnite as well for normal fortnite it could even be for save the world so they're saying finally save the world is going free um so i don't think that you should get overexcited. um the most likely things that i think are going to happen at the award show is first of all that they're announcing that the marvel stuff is going to continue um because um i think donald mustard or tim sweeney already said that that uh, Marvel is not going to stop in this season and it's not the the last season with Marvel stuff and Marvel is going to continue that is like 100% sure and like you can almost confirm that so if it's going to be like a full-on Marvel pass again or if it's just like parts of Marvel being in Fortnite that is obviously unclear but um, there's obviously a lot of stuff which Marvel and Fortnite can do together to make a good game right I don't think that it only has to be Marvel like full-on just Marvel All right, so the other things which I think are going to happen uh, or the other things which I, I can imagine are going to happen is that they talk about for, uh, Save the World. Obviously, they said that for, uh, Save the World is not going to go free to play, but maybe they had a change in mind or something or they have something new for Save the World. And obviously, there, there are just things that can come to my mind uh, that could obviously still be like very far fetched and um, probably are not going to happen. Holy shit, dude. So the thing that makes me like a little bit uh, angry about the, these like theories, because 
there are theories and there's nothing confirmed. And there's not even like a full confirmation, which I could find. Like it says that Epic Games are at the Game Show Awards and they have something to say, I guess, that like there's a, a speech or something. Um, but it doesn't really say that there's like a super big announcement or something, right? Um, so it could be just like randomly talking about the future of Fortnite and uh, not saying like, yo, there's nothing too special, right? So I said there was one more thing why people kind of like jump to the conclusion that it is about creative because obviously, as you guys remember, two years from now almost, um, Fortnite Creative got added to Fortnite, uh, which obviously was one of the biggest announcements that Fortnite could ever make. And it was at the Game Show Awards back then, also same time as they announced the block. And that was obviously one of the best days that creators could have, even though they didn't know their creators at this point. Um, but obviously that was the, the start of Fortnite Creative and the, like the, the journey for a lot of people. And so many careers were made with that. But I don't think that, you know, they have to do like a big announcement every year. Because last year they didn't, so why should they do this year? Um, I don't want you to get your hopes like down or something, but don't get overexcited about something that is not confirmed yet. Also, you should always keep in mind that Fortnite doesn't owe you anything and that they don't have to update creative. Which I think is very important to realize that this is a nice thing that we have and we can we are very lucky to have this. Um, but it's not like Granite, right? So there's not a lot of game modes or a lot of games which have a creative mode, which is on that level of Fortnite creative. Yes, there's Minecraft, which is the prime example of a perfect creative game. Um, but obviously that is one game, maybe two games with Fortnite now having this creative mode and having like an almost perfect creative mode. And a lot of people will say like, oh, Richie, you're crazy. This is not a perfect game mode. Like, see what we can do in Minecraft. But yeah, Minecraft is out for how long? 10 years now? And Fortnite Creative is out for two years, max. And it started as a beta, so don't get overexcited about something that is not even like close to being reality. So um, so I think most importantly, don't get overexcited and um, be happy at everything that comes at you at the... Um, at the Game Show Awards, um, but don't set your hopes up too high and don't make false expectations to the game. Um, I would love to see a weapon customized. I would love to see Terrain Editor for that sense, but oh, is it realistic that we're getting this? Not really. Also, is it realistic that I'm not going to die here? But this man really wants me. I like, it's the second time, right? I think the coolest thing that we could get from this, which is like a realistic thing, is that creative is kind of getting the terrain editor because they kind of said that for a long time yet. Like the terrain editor has been like in the, like I think it's the top most wanted thing that people want in uh, Fortnite creative. Like give me a second. I quickly have to make this man a shadow or he makes me a shadow. That is also, never mind. He has no aim. If it's realistic or not, you can decide for that. But, you know, Terrain Editor has been in the speak and, like, everybody wants a Terrain Editor. There's, like, not a single person which I talked to in the past, like, few years about Fortnite Creative who doesn't want a... Uh... Okay. What's up, sir? Is he, is he friendly? I'm not sure what he's doing. Why is he running away from me? Oh, you... You bitch! Oh! Well, that's it for that. Well, we're gonna win as shadows anyways. Bro, this person just got deleted. Like, he got deleted. And I got deleted too, but that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good of me, and I can live with that. Alright, so let me know what you think about this amazing co-op that we, that we should get in Fortnite Creative. And what you wish we would get in Fortnite Creative, that's most importantly. Because, you know, we can still dream. And um, what, in your opinion, is this update uh, or this announcement going to be?
<laughs> with that being said, see you guys back in the next video. Uh, bye.